You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. Good Thursday morning. Right back at you. everything small feel good? Fantastic. Harmonious, copacetic. Oh, yeah, it's so harmonious. Oh, Always. We're in tune. How you two aren't on Hallmark cards. I'll never know. <laughs> what a missed opportunity. He's had a spat dances. I don't like it when you guys fight. <laughs> Mom and dad are fighting. I'm yeah. being bad. torn in two. I can't <laughs> pick sides. I would like it a lot better if I ever won a single fight. I ever. I cannot. I cannot pick sides, but if I did, it'd be Heidi. So. <laughs> I pick her side, too, which is the smart thing to do. Birthdays today, Michelle Pfeiffer. Okay. She is 63 today. I'm going to talk to her sister on Monday. (laughs) Wow. Boy, I'd sure try to get a plaque for having done that, John. She's my movie star Monday. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Hang on, hang on. Where's my ever-growing list of things I don't care about? There it is. Uh, Number uh, 1,219. (laughs) Michelle's sister, Dee Dee. John talks to Michelle Pfeiffer's sister. Sister. And next week, she's an actress too. Uh, so you know, yeah. Jerry Seinfeld is sixty-seven today. Oh wow! I would have never guessed him that age. No, Me either. I wouldn't have either. Willie Nelson is eighty-eight. He's oh. always looked eighty-eight. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he kind of has. So he looked has. eighty-eight in the eighties. So. Uh, a huge day in the United States of America, and I remember this day like it was well, nineteen seventy-five, because it was. United States begins to evacuate its citizens from Saigon. Oh. Oh. Saigon in response to advancing North Vietnamese forces, bringing an end to the United States' involvement in the Vietnam War. Nice. Very cool. And another really weird political stuff, kind of, sort of, was 1990. This day, wrecking cranes fire up and begin taking down the Berlin Wall. Oh, yeah. Giving David Hasselhoff, a, well, a stage of his own. Yeah, he got up there and danced and sang. He was huge. And in 2004, this day, Oldsmobile builds its final car. What year was that? It was 2004. Okay. Ending 107 years of production of the Oldsmobile. Now, do you remember there was a vehicle called a 98 Olds? Yeah. Those? When I was a kid, we had one of those, a 98 Olds. You know what year they quit making the 98 Olds? Tell me, John. 1997. Well, so there was never a 98, 98 olds. I wonder if Michelle Pfeiffer's sister ever owned one. I'll ask her. <laughs> <sighs> I owned a Cutlass when I was in high school, actually. Oh, that's awesome. Hit a ditch, mowed down some uh, highway signs, ripped up the transmission, and called it good. Oh, very, very so, good. There you go. I know now. You know, and we all know we can just forge ahead. It is the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you this morning by ShopLocalSiouxFalls.com. Are you ready to travel again? Join us for the best week of your life. The Sands is an immersive Gen X era experience for five sun-filled and fun-filled days at Dreams and Secrets, all-inclusive resorts in Cancun. Enjoy music from Billy Idol, Cheap Trick, Little River Band, The Hooters, Tesla, Wang Chung, Firehouse, Honeymoon Suite, CNC Music Factory, The Jets, and more. Make plans to join us for the Sands. October 25th through 30th. Learn more now at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. Time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Well, I'm ruggedly handsome. I'm a heck of a man. I mess around with nature whenever I can. He's Ranger Dan. Dan. Yes, sir, I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love the little critters and the big Critters too like to cook them up in a tasty stew. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir, I'm Ranger Dan. Well, it's time for Critter Corner right here on Sunny. If you like the show, then send me some money. He's Ranger Dan. Cash and credit card only. Yes, sir, I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good, Good morning, morning, Ranger Dan. Dan. Little snappy little salute off the well start from the Ranger Dan Captain. You too. Hello there, Ivan. Hello, Heidi. Ranger Dan. Uh, Heidi, you know, we're working towards the end of the old alphabet here. We've been working on it for, for several weeks now. We're just assigning a letter of the alphabet to critters that start with that letter. And today's letter, I know you two have no idea, so I'll just tell you it's R. Oh, nice. R, which, of course, raccoons, nature's little trash pandas. You got your rabbits, you got your rats, which cannot vomit. Science. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Roadrunners, rhinoceroses, reindeer. You got robins, which is a bear. But I want to talk something that, well, it's kind of scary for most people, and that's rattlesnakes. Oh. 
Did you know there's like 25 different species of rattlesnakes in the I world? I did not. There are 15 different species right here in the United States of America. No really? And did you know South Dakota has its very own species? I knew we had rattlesnakes. Uh, I didn't know we had our own species. Prairie rattler. Yeah. Huh. Yep, you find them mostly West River there, just west of the... Missouri River, and uh, <clears throat> you know, kind of digging in on this reminds me of a story way, way back in the day when I was uh, just a junior ranger in training, actually, and uh, I was paired up with another junior ranger named uh, Kenny, me and junior ranger uh, Kenny, we were all signed up, had a day of uh, survival training, and we were actually just booted out there in the Badlands uh, oh, wow. somewhere and left our own devices with nothing but a couple canteens of water, <laughs> a radio, <laughs> compass, <laughs> and a knife. Oh, wow. <laughs> Well, old Junior Ranger Kenny, you know, he's a big fella. In fact, he tipped the scales north of about 300 pounds, but that's beside the point. But, <clears throat> fortunately, we'd stopped over, of course, from all drug that morning, uh, get our breakfast on, and old Kenny plowed through three or four platters of biscuits and gravy, and, well, <clears throat> before our mission there, and after wandering around in the wilderness for just a bit, old Junior Ranger Kenny, he had, uh, well, he felt Mother Nature calling. <laughs> Disappearing, as uh, we say in the business, kind of kind of take a load off. Well, he found some uh, scrub bushes there to hide behind in short order. All of a sudden, Junior Ranger came screaming like a banshee. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. like a banshee. Junior oh, Ranger, no. Dad, I've been bit. I've been bit. I've been bit. I've been, bit. I've been snake bit. I've been, I'm what in the good Lord is going on here? So I had to go and take a peek, and uh, boy, old Junior Ranger Kenny's... Laying there, just kind of curled up with his britches down around his ankles oh, and a big old ham no. ox of his showing. And sure enough, looks like a couple of puncture wounds right there in that big old meaty butt ox of his. Well, being junior rangers, I got no idea what to do. And Kenny sure does. I grab that red dad daddy over there and uh, fire it up and get a hold of our leader, Ranger Boss. I said, Ranger, <laughs> Ranger Boss, junior ranger Kenny, he's been snake bent. We ain't got a clue what to do. Well, ranger Boss says, well. Keep Junior Ranger Kenny calm. I want you to do is to take your knife and you carve a little X there, right? Connecting them puncture wounds, and then you got to get it up close and personal. You're going to have to <laughs> suck that snake venom on out of there. Uh, just do, do the best you can. Well, I disconnect and I saunter back over to Junior Ranger Kenny. He's laying there, big old buns glistening in the sunlight. Those puncture wounds are getting just redder than a mad hand and. Uh, <laughs> Junior Ranger Kenny says, what did he say, Junior Ranger Dad? What, what do we got to do? I said, well, Junior Ranger Kenny, I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. It looks like you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all the time we have today, little radio rangers. I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I did telling it. Till next Critter Corner, this is Ranger Dan out. Say it with me. Yes, sir. Addiction. It's a problem for many. And addiction can drive away those who love you the most. Addiction can also lead to the loss of jobs, broken relationships, And, if you're not careful, addiction can even cost you your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. We want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Time now for your morning coffee break, brought to you by Kaladi's Bistro on the corner of 26th and Minnesota Avenue in Sioux Falls. And Mr. Dan Ferris back in the studio with us now. Well, we have a few things to cover. You know, it looks like real spring is finally here, because we had like four or five fake springs. So that means we're probably going to get a summer. And things that go on. I mean, it was one of the most iconic events in the Sioux Empire, and that was Jazz Fest. Right. Yeah. On for years. In fact, we, uh, my good friend uh, Mike Denning was uh, pretty much the force that fired that thing up. Years That's really and cool. Years and years ago. Jazz Fest, as you know, did not take place last year. Yeah, right. It was COVID and out. now they've pulled the plug on it for this year, too. Yeah. Really? Again? Yep, again. And there's a, a couple of things. It's financial stuff. It's logistic oh, okay. stuff. It's whatever, whatever. However, the Jazz and Blues Society, who does Jazz Fest, in case you're wondering, Mom and Dad, the uh, their annual jazz camp is still going on, hmm. if you're into that kind of thing. And okay. also, they will be doing some some shows this summer. They just don't have the itinerary set yet. So, okay. no full-blown weekend jazz fest, but they're still doing a few things. You know, I have never been to that event. Not once. Uh, pretty phenomenal. I it is a really great event. We've, every every year, year yeah. we've had something else going on. So, we've, we've wanted to go. We've just never been able to go. And, hey, race fans... It's done deal. Husitz is firing up an entire full season through the summer. In fact, Yay. racing at Husitz kicks off Mother's Day. 
this year. That. Really? Then it has races scheduled pretty much every single Sunday right through September. That is really cool. So, yeah, they got some uh, good people running that, firing up. So it ought to be a uh, business like back in the day. Remember back in the day? Oh, back oh, in the day. I remember back yeah. in the day. A lot of people think that was a Wednesday, but I'm not sure. It's going to be <laughs> it's going to be really nice because uh the uh, I know people who have worked with the, the new owner. Yeah. And they're super excited about racing the way it's going to be because it's going to be good. Yeah, and another news in case you're wondering, it looks like the National Park Service has put the kibosh on having uh fireworks at Mount Rushmore for the 4th of July. Hmm. I'm guessing our governor is pushing back against that. Good. And I just read an article where uh fireworks <clears throat> have been banned in Pier this year. Oh, wow. Yeah, but 4th of July fireworks, Sioux Falls. Oh, it's a go, baby. We're I doing wish it. we knew who we could talk to to get some information <laughs> on that event. I don't know, but I heard through the grapevine. It's us. And they're uh, coming back to yeah. uh, the fairgrounds. Yeah. Oh, we haven't announced that yet, Dan, but thanks for, <laughs> thanks for announcing that. Major announcement coming up okay. four seconds ago. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that's no, actually it's cool. Fine. Uh, that is something that we have been working on. Uh, last year, when we took over the event, it was too late to do it at the fairgrounds because they booked the fairgrounds. Correct. They had 2,000 cows there. They're good looking cows. Back this year. 2,000 cows plus fireworks, not a good mix. But this year, uh, no cows, but hopefully a lot of people. Um, super excited to put on the fireworks. Uh, all the information, by the way, SiouxFallsFireworks.org. But I want to say thank you to our three amazing sponsors. Grand Falls Casino and Golf Resort has been a part of it for a long time. They're actually the ones that, that got us involved. And then MarketBeat.com stepped up and CarSwap uh, also stepped up. So uh, super excited to have that. And we've got a lot of other little things that we're working on. But, uh, yeah, thanks for bringing that up, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, that- feel like I'm about to be putting time out, but you're welcome. <laughs> no, it's all good. All right. Hey, thanks for coming in. We'll uh, we'll catch up soon. Thanks for having me. Appreciate I'll it, come, guys. I'll come talk to you in time out. All right. See ya. <laughs> We've got uh, Holy Humor Month coming up here in a moment. Going to be visiting with uh, Pastor Eric Weber from the Union Gospel Mission and uh, other fun stuff as well. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. If you're looking for special prices on some pretty amazing products, check out the website radiosavings.com. We're adding new items. Items all the time, so you might find something cool. And you can save money when you buy stuff at radiosavings.com. One other thing many people like, many of the products you'll find at radiosavings.com are made in the USA. Good quality items at great prices. Radiosavings.com. We can save you more. Radiosavings.com. That's radiosavings.com. Time now for a bright spot of news brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine in Sioux Falls. And they can brighten any room with a beautiful light fixture. We are going to brighten your room right now with some positive news. I've got Amy Carter joining me, and she's with Children's Inn. You guys have got a groundbreaking coming up soon, don't you? Yes, we do. May 4th at 1130 a.m. We are so excited that we are going to be breaking ground on our new larger facility. This has been in the works for several years now, and the time has come where we get to celebrate with the community um, as we move forward in the next step of this this process and getting a larger children's in to serve more victims of domestic violence in our community. And it would be wonderful if we didn't even need such a place, but there is a need. So thank you so much for filling that need. Yes, that's so true. It's, it would be wonderful if I, if I didn't have a job and if we didn't need such a place. But unfortunately, what we've seen at Children's in the past several years is being over capacity and the need for safe shelter for victims of domestic violence and child abuse has has grown in our community. And so we know that we aren't going to be able to continue to meet that need with our current location. So we have purchased land and we'll be breaking ground. Um, it's at the, um, we'll be neighbors to the Empower Campus, which is on East 10th Street for nice. people who are familiar with Sioux Falls. But um, right um, there's a track there on what used to be the School for the Deaf, and now that will be the new children's inn. So yeah. Um, people are welcome to join us on May 4th to, to see that and kind of get some ideas on what, what to expect. That's going to be a wonderful location for you guys. And I'm, I'm super excited to see something happen positive in that place, too, because it's such a great facility, a great campus, a great area. And it'll be wonderful to have that space all be uh, being utilized for something positive like this. Exactly. We really will be partnering with the Empower Campus in the sense that um, we're serving different people in the community with different needs. And so um, you're right, the location is wonderful. We'll be able to reach a lot of people, and um, but also provide that safety that, that people need. So with this additional facility, will you guys be looking for more people as well in the future? Yes, yep. So just to kind of give people a context, we are going from a 40-bed facility to a 96-bed facility. 
Um, currently, we have 24 bedrooms, and in our new location, we will have 38. So not only will we be able to serve more victims, but it will just be so much more functional. We'll be able to expand some of our other services as well, hopefully in the future, such as our counseling or our crisis services or case management. Um, but, yes, that will require some new staff as time gets there. Um, right now, our timeline is that we will be um, able to be finished December of 2022. So nice. as this progresses, we'll kind of figure out what we need for staffing and, and what that will all look like. Well, and, and that gives you some time to ramp up for that as well, if it's going to be the tail yeah. end of next year. But congratulations for uh, next month coming up here really soon, actually next week as well, for the groundbreaking for the new location for Children's Inn. Congrats on that. Thank you so much. We're we're really excited, and we just know that we'll be able to do so much more for, for victims in our community with this. Amy, if there's someone listening that would like to learn more about what you do at the Children's Inn, how do we find you online? You bet. You go to um, giftforgoodsd.org. Or you can go to childrensin.org, and uh, we can share more information. Or always uh, well, welcome to call us as well, which is 338-0116. Again, Amy Carter has been our guest with Children's In. They're groundbreaking coming up May 4th. We'll throw all the information on our Facebook page as well. This has been a Bright Spot of News brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine in Sioux Falls. I kind of feel like I've been talking about BetterCreditCards.com forever now. But we want to mention that BetterCreditCards.com is designed to help you get a better credit card. Why should that matter to you? Because this can save you money every single month. There's no fee to check it out. So when you get a minute, click on the website BetterCreditCards.com and see if we can help you find a better credit card. Do it today. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for Holy Humor Month, and it's our second to the last Holy Humor Month. And I could say we saved the best for last because I got a super fun guy that I'm very excited to visit with. Holy Humor Month comes your way courtesy of Crossroads Book and Music in Sioux Falls. And right now we've got Pastor Eric, also known as Pastor Pineapple. He's the guy in charge down at the Union Gospel Mission. How are you doing, sir? I am doing wonderful. How are you today? I am fabulous. Now, you guys have got a really fun event coming up that we're going to talk about here in just a bit. This is a really neat thing, the Team Extreme coming to town. But before we get to that, let's talk a little bit about the Union Gospel Mission and how folks can get involved there if they'd like to get involved. Yeah, definitely. All you got to do is come down to the Union Gospel Mission, or you can go on our website at ugmsufalls.com, or you can give us a call, too, as well, and that's 334 334- Six seven three two. That's three three four six seven three two. And you can actually call and talk to Heather or Deb or Pamela, and you can just say, "Hey, I want to get involved." And so we have so much stuff going on down here. We have anywhere from cleaning floors, cleaning windows, sharing the gospel, um, talking with men, talking with women, playing with kids, um, painting walls. I mean, we you name it, we have it. That is awesome. And if people want to get involved in your ministry, it'd be a great one to get involved in. You guys make a huge difference in this town. Well, we try. You know, so right now, our biggest thing is caring for the needs of the community with compassion and sharing hope. But the biggest thing that we talk about is that uh, being a good listener. So um, we try, you know, to do as much as we can. Um, there's a lot of ministries in this town doing a lot of good things. Yeah. We're just one of them. And so we serve about 150,000 plus meals a year. Uh, we do breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. Um, we also do a GED program. We have, you know, a kids program to help kids get back into school and things like that. Um, so we, we give about 46,000 items of clothing away every year. Um, and that's a lot of clothing. And yeah. so people donate their clothes here and we make sure it's in good condition and uh, we give it out to, um, to people that are in need. Um, we don't charge money. Our thrift store loses money every year because we give things away. So That's awesome. we're not about making money. We're about helping people. So what's really cool about that, too, is that we have a program. If you have a, a gently pair of shoes that's maybe for a high school kid or, or elementary student, we ask you to donate those cool shoes or shoes that are needed uh, for those kids because every kid going back to school um, it doesn't matter their situation. They want to have a nice pair of shoes. Yeah, exactly. And so we try to do that the best, you know. So. That is really cool. Now, we're going to get to the joke here for Holy Humor Month in a minute. But first, we got to talk about May 6th, barbecue at the Union Gospel Mission, and you've got Team Extreme coming to town. What? Tell me a little bit about what we're going to experience at, with Team Extreme in Sioux Falls. Man, Team 
team extreme. They're, they're about bending, pulling, lifting, and you know, they are like amazing power guys, right? Yeah. And so they 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 can like bend steel rod iron and bend it in a pretzel, and they can rip phone books in half, and they can lift engines, and um, they can bench press people, and I mean, <laughs> and then they have a dance team too with them, and so it's like in a barbecue. So we're gonna be serving hamburgers. Uh, with sharp cheddar cheese on top of them. If you don't like the cheese, you don't have to have it. Um, and then we're going to have um, some beans with that. And it's just outside our area. Um, and we're just going to have a blast that night. And it's, we're not asking for any money. We just want you to come down and enjoy the mission with us. Um, it's safe. Uh, there's a misconception in our community that the mission isn't safe. Um, our crime rate down here uh, at the mission is down 70%. Um, since I took over in 15 months ago, and things are just really, really turned around, and we're doing awesome. So well, it's We're excited, and that's coming up, believe it or not, next Thursday. It's a Thursday night, so if you're looking for something to do next Thursday, join us at the Union Gospel Mission. I'm going to make sure we go to that. I think that's going to be just a blast. Yeah, yeah. I, w- I hope you guys do, and I hope you bring friends. Um, Absolutely. I have, like, two of them. So I'm bringing all two friends of mine, and so... Um, I'm really hoping that people will get excited about the spring and the summer that's coming and the beginning of the event. So this is our first one in the series of ones that we're going to be doing this summer. So this is just one of them. We're going to be doing like four uh, outdoor events. We have one coming in Labor Day that nobody's going to want to miss, too. That's going to be huge. And more news to come with that with you later. Yeah. Um, but that's going to be an amazing one, too. And that's outside, too, as well. Nice. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going to post yeah, all the information great. for this event on our Facebook page. So if you miss it, and we have it all at uh, SiouxFallsBelievers.com as well. You can find it there. And now, the fun part, you get to tell me a joke for Holy Humor Month. What do you got for me, sir? What time of day was Adam created? I don't know. What time of day was he created? Uh, just a little before Eve. <laughs> a little before Eve. <laughs> See, I love those fun little simple jokes. I love that. Yeah, and then I have another one. Oh, what's that one? God's humor. And, well, here's God's humor. So I'm Native Hawaiian. God, that's why they call me Dodge Pineapple. Uh, I was moved here from, actually, I lived in Honolulu, Hawaii, moved to California, and then I was brought to the South Dakota area. So, I mean, to take a guy off the beach all his life <laughs> and plant him in the snow, now that is humor. Yes, it is. Right? I mean, come on. <laughs> So, I mean, I grew up with palm trees and sand, and they never had to wear shoes. And then I get here, and it's like, whoa. Yeah. It is a little different. Well, we're absolutely blessed to have you as part of the community. Thank you so much for being a part of Holy Humor Month with us, sir. Oh, thank you so much. God bless you guys, and I hope you guys all come out. And remember, the life that you can save could be your next door neighbor. So love your neighbors. Absolutely. Again, uh, Union Gospel Mission next Thursday. It's going to be a lot of fun. All of the details on our Facebook page. This has been Holy Humor Month, brought to you by our friends at Crossroads Book and Music in Sioux Falls. Addiction. It's a problem for many. And addiction can drive away those who love you the most. Addiction can also lead to the loss of jobs, broken relationships, and, if you're not careful, addiction can even cost you your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. We want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Thursday, April 29th, 2021. The market was largely unmoved by the FOMC on Wednesday after the committee delivered a message that was little more than expected. The FOMC made note of the COVID vaccines and the impact on the recovery. The committee also noted that labor markets were strengthened, although there is still weakness in some areas of the economy. In regards to inflation, committee chairman Jerome Powell said the recent increases in prices are likely to continue, although inflation will be transitory. The after-hours action was a little different. Reports from Facebook, Ford, eBay, and Apple grabbed the market's attention and had shares moving. Reports were equally strong and point to an accelerating economic rebound, but not all shares moved in the same direction. Action on Thursday could be more of the same sluggish sideways movement as the market digests the latest round of news. You can get the inside track from Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.